Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is share a little tip for anyone who's producing videos for YouTube, Vimeo, or just for your website. I moved into video production from blogging. I mean, I was, I've been involved in lots of different things, uh, making money online, but it, there's a lot of parallels to be drawn between blogging and producing videos as far as the way that you research videos, the way that you prepare videos and things like that. But there's a different kind of set of problems that you that you find as well. There's a lot of technical problems that you run into when you're producing videos for YouTube um, or for Vimeo, whoever. And, you know, th there is a learning curve. There's a lot of things to learn. You know, you need to learn about video editing and all these other things. One of the, the best tips I could give to anyone who's going to upload to YouTube is that in many, many situations, it is better to re-record, start again, re-record the clip, than trying to fix a problem that can't be fixed. So when you're recording videos for YouTube, you're going to run into lots of different problems. Um, the other day, um, I ran into a problem. Well, I've run into a couple of problems the last few days, actually. I recorded a video the other day, just sitting here like this, and I recorded the video during the time there was like an update going on my computer and when I went to actually use the audio that I, that I had recorded, I realized that the audio file was corrupted. There was a problem with, I think it was like the metadata or something like that. There was the, something wrong with the header and the WAV file. And I'd never come across this before, so I did a little research and there's ways to maybe fix it. I tried all these different fixes and I must have spent like an hour and a half, two hours looking for a solution for this. I'm like, there must be a way for me to salvage this audio rather than me having to do it again. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find any way to salvage the audio. And I just re-recorded the video. It, you know, it was only a 10 minute video. It didn't take me long to do it. And I've been in that situ situation many times before. Now, in many situations, you can't re-record again. If you're outside, if you're at a gig, if you're recording music, if you're in a situation that you can only record it once, if the video isn't correct, if the audio isn't correct, then you might have to look at the way that you edit the clip. Perhaps you need to use software or you need to, you know, try and find some fix to salvage what you recorded through video and through audio to try and get something that you can use. But in other situations, if you have an opportunity to record again, more often than not, that's what you should actually do. It can save you a huge amount of hassle. Now, for the type of videos that I record for my technology channel, there's certain videos I can't do again. For example, if I do an unboxing and the audio isn't correct or the video doesn't work out correct or I make a mistake, I can't really do an unboxing again. I would have to package everything up again. Sometimes that's possible, but more often than not, it's not because, you know, everything's packaged up all nice. Um, so there's certain th things that you can't do again. And if there's a problem, for example, uh, your camera battery runs out in the middle of recording, it does happen. Even if you prepare, it does happen from time to time. Then, you know, you might not, not be able to salvage what you, um, what you recorded. Um, sometimes as well, like... Video cameras tend to have a 30 minute recording limit um, unless you've got a camcorder, like actual cameras who which record video tend to have a 30 minute recording limit, which means that when I've recorded longer than that, sometimes I've been caught unawares and it's just stopped recording automatically. And this happens in your smartphone. More things can go wrong in your smartphone actually as far as the video um, stopped recording. It happened to me the other night. Again, this was another thing that happened. I recorded a 10 minute video for Rise Forums and it just stopped recording. Now, this is the thing you can try um, and figure out what went wrong. And there, are, there is a benefit to doing that. You want to learn, you want to you know learn more about editing, about production and things like that. But can, you know, um, but things can and will go wrong in video production. It doesn't matter if you're just a, a beginner YouTuber or if you're on the set of a $300 million Marvel film, there's going to be things that go wrong when you're producing videos. It just seems to be the nature of the business or the nature of recording clips, recording audio. There's lots of things that can go wrong. And a lot of the time, it's not. Um, it, there's no way to really get around it. 
Um, for example, I'll turn my Wi-Fi and my signal off on my phone, so don't go, or I'll even turn the phone off so that it doesn't ring when I'm recording. But then during that, someone might come to the door and start banging on my door during recording, and you're like, eh. there's so many things that can go wrong. But just bear in mind, if you can re-record a clip, do another video. Um, more often than not, it makes more sense to do that. It saves you a huge amount of hassle and you know, you can do some wonderful things with um, software such as this, like Premiere Pro. There's lots of things you can do to salvage clips and enhance it and fix lighting and fix audio with Adobe Edition and all these different things. But that is no replacement for having good quality video and audio in the first place. You know, um, it's better to try and sometimes it's better to just re-record something than trying to repair something that's been damaged. So, you know, for any of you YouTubers out there, you're going to run into lots of problems from time to time. Just don't discount. Sometimes it's, you know, you're fighting a losing battle when you find that the file ha hasn't been recorded correctly or the audio hasn't been recorded cor correctly and it's maybe better just to accept defeat, start again and move on. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you've been in this situation before, I'd love to hear from you, so please do leave a comment below. And until next time, take care.